Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for gathering here to celebrate this Mass with us here in the sanctuary, along with those at home watching on live stream. Today's Mass is intent, intention are for all American veterans, living and deceased, and the deceased members of the Legion of Mary. And also, I'd like to offer this Mass for the intention of John Data for her successful surgery tomorrow. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, today is the memorial of St. Martin of Tours, the bishop. St. Martin of Tours, the bishop, continues to remind us that life is a journey, and we are called to support one another. As a bishop, he put his trust to his priest, and he was ready to make sure that peace is restored among themselves. Today also, we continue to ask God to give us strength so that he may continue always to proclaim the good news, the good news of peace. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who are glorified in the Bishop St. Martin, both by his life and death, making you, we pray, the wonders of your grace in our hearts, that neither death nor life may separate us from your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, remind them to be under the control of magistrates and authorities, to be obedient, to be open to every good enterprise. They are to slander no one, to be peaceable, considerate, exercising all graciousness toward everyone. For we ourselves were once, once foolish, disobedient, deluded, slaves to various desires and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful ourselves and hating one another. But when the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deed we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the, birth, the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. When he, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. 
There's nothing. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Alleluia, alleluia. In all circumstances, give thanks, for, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he, said, when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. And as they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice, and he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. came to land that Martin of Tours was very good of trying to reconcile to his fellow brothers, the priest. One day, he heard that one of his priests, they were in the parish, but they were not loving each other, and they were quarreling every time. And then one day he decided himself to go physically to that parish and be residing there until when they reconciled one another. And I was asking myself how there I am you leave your own office and stay to your brother priest trying to help them to reconcile. That was a very powerful message. How many times we have been the mediator of trying to help our brothers and sisters and going deeper to their own hearts, to their own needs. Martin of Tours is a good example to us today that remember reconciliation is part and parcel of our journey of lives. Let us continue always to knock the door to our brothers and sisters, even when we recognize that it's hard maybe to be the mediators, but God always will help us to move forward. And in the gospel today, we hear Jesus extends his hands to help the needy people, those who are suffering for a long time with leprosy, and they were asking for help, and they knew that Jesus was the only person to help them, to take care of them. And they were so close asking for that help, and Jesus responding to their needs. But except only one, the Samaritan, returned back and say, thank you, Lord. What does it mean to us that God offers each and every time our needs 
And every time when we offer our prayers asking for his help, he always offers us. How many times do we kneel down as saying, thank you, Lord? And when we are, uh, we are successful of what we have been praying for, are we also realize that is because of his loving mercy? Today, let us continue to be like this Samaritan for what he did to come back and be thankful for each and everything. Even when we experience failures, remember, you are not alone. God is always with you. The time will come to uplift your souls. Don't forget that prayers always remind us and give us strength. As we continue today to celebrate the Feast of St. Martin of Tours, let us continue also to join our hands to be thankful and also to fight for peace and justice all over the world. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, through the intercession prayers of St. Martin of Tours, we know and we acknowledge that where there is peace, always there is love. And there is also good understanding. And for this, we pray. We pray for our country. We pray for the leadership so that we may continue always to guide them and give them strength to move forward with love and peace. And for this, we pray. We pray for our church and especially for our diocese in the parish, the Church of Ascension. For what we are proclaiming the good news, let us proclaim for our hearts and in actions. And for this, we pray. For the needy people, let us continue always to extend our hands as Jesus did to love one another. And for this, we pray. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, for creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Be God. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifices of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for the good of the good of all His holy church. Sanctify these offerings, we pray, O Lord, which we joyfully present in honor of St. Martin, so that through them out our life, our life may always be directed, whether in tribulation or in prosperity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to adjure to our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Martin, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we are clay. Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth, the full of your glory, Hosanna, Hosanna is the highest. Mm-hmm. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the choice of salvation, giving thanks to that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mary, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and the honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil, Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other now a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. Lord, I am unworthy that you should enter into the land. I only say the word of the sins of My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please follow the directions of the usher as you come forward for Eucharist with your hands folded. Keep your mask on, covering your nose and your mouth, and come up and receive the Eucharist in your hand. Move over to the side to one of the yellow dots. Pull your mask down, take the Eucharist in your mouth, and pull your mask back up, on your, covering your nose and your mouth, and return to your seat. Thank you.
Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least of my brothers, you did it for me, says the Lord. Let us pray. Grant to us who have been restored by this sacrament of unity, O Lord, perfect harmony with your will in all things, that just as St. Martin submitted himself entirely to you, so we too may glory in being truly yours through Christ our Lord. On behalf of Deacon Tom, I would like to thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching also live stream mass, also I say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. I want you to continue to pray for our brothers and sisters, especially for those who are really struggling, especially with this situation of the COVID-19. Some of them, since we were close in March, I've never seen them. Just pray for them, and I continue to try to call them, to give them moral support, so that they may continue always to experience the loving care of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you know them, and you can extend your hands by calling them, please do it. That's the way we can help each other, and we are family, and that ascension is for it. Amen. For those of you who uh, are, are veterans, for his spouses who are veterans, I know you, you work just as hard at that, um, please please take our thanks uh, for your service to our country. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ending. We'll go now to love and serve the 